Hi! Today we're going to show you how to tune with the pegs. I have my viola here together with Samantha who is facing me. She will be the student again and the instrument is in her lap and the pegs and the scroll will be in my hands and I will be turning these pegs to tune the instrument. Be sure you watch this video two times through all the way to see the process before you start tuning. Also, it's very helpful if you've already seen the fine tuner video, which teaches you a lot about how to set the case down and some of the other things that we won't go into today. So, we will get started. Okay, now we're ready to start tuning the viola with the pegs, but first would you play each string and say the name of the strings? A, D, G, C. Very good. And the, t the string that we're going to tune is going to be the D string. So can you find the D string? This go one? Just, yes. Okay. So it's this one. And what I'm going to do now is ask you to pluck it while I turn the peg. I'm going to first of all make sure that I get a hold of the right peg by following it into this is the peg box. So be sure you get the right peg. And then while Samantha is plucking consistently over and over on the D string, I'm going to turn this peg away from me. So the top part of the peg goes away from me and you will hear an immediate change, not like with the fine tuners where it, it's a very subtle change. So go ahead and pluck over and over and here I go. I'm going to have to get a good hold of this because the pegs might be tight. So you hear how that goes way down. Now, we know that we want to have a tuning reference pitch. So, so I have an app for the D string. And I'm going to start it playing. And I'm going to leave it right here while I take hold of the D peg. And now will you pluck over and over? And I know, let's stop there for just a second. I know that it's getting worse, so I want to make sure that I think about that. Is it getting worse or is it getting better as I'm turning the peg? And also, as I'm turning the peg, I'm pressing in just to make sure it won't slip, because if it slips, I'll show you what happens. Um, go ahead and pluck, and I'm going to let it go completely loose. It might do that, and it wants to kind of spin out of control. So if that happens, that's because it's not wedged in far enough. So now I need to come back toward me with the peg and go very slowly on this direction because you don't want to go past the sound of the reference pitch. So let's turn it on, start plucking. of getting the string to match the reference pitch, but you fulfill a really important responsibility in plucking the whole time that I'm turning this peg, and that's why we're doing this together, um, so that I can hear all the time what's happening as the peg is being turned. So you've now been through the whole process of tuning with the pegs, and I have a few tips for you. Be patient and take your time because it will be a challenge at first. The more you do this process, the easier it will be. Also, if a string gets floppy, you know to take it to the music store to, to get some help. The same is true about the bridge. If the bridge moves a little when the string is floppy, because it's not glued down, you'll need some help to get it set back up. And finally, I hope that you have a great time, a lot of fun, and enjoy tuning your instrument so that you can play and it will sound the way it's supposed to sound.